Do you ever wish typing on your iPhone was quicker and easier? In just a few minutes, you'll learn 11 awesome tips to speed up your typing and get the most out of your keyboard. Are you ready to take your typing skills to the next level? Let's get started. Tip number one is a simple time saver that anyone can use. Typically, as you're typing and you need to add a comma, for example, you press the one, two, three special character button, select your comma, and then select the ABC button to go back to the main keyboard. Instead, press and hold on that one, two, three button, drag over to your special character, and release. It will add the character and move you immediately back to the keyboard to continue typing. Number two is for those occasions where you need to type with just one hand. You may have trouble reaching to the far end of your phone, especially if you use a larger Plus or Pro Max iPhone. To help, press and hold on the emoji button where you'll see options to move the keyboard to the left side of the screen or the right, making it easier to reach all of the buttons. Number three is another good trick for one-handed typing. It's swipe typing. This feature allows you to keep your hand on the phone, swiping from letter to letter. Once you stop and lift your finger, your phone pieces together the movement and makes its best guess at the word you were going for. It's not perfect, but if you get good at it, you can wind up swiping pretty darn fast. Number four is a very common one, but it's worth making sure you use it because everyone should. As you're typing and you come to the end of a sentence, simply double click the space bar to automatically insert a period and the subsequent space to start the next sentence. The next three all help you to make corrections after you've typed. For number five, if you've missed something in the middle of your sentence, press and hold on the space bar and slide your finger around to move your cursor to a precise position. Number six helps alleviate some of the pain associated with highlighting. The standard way to highlight is to tap and then tap and drag. This works, but gets tricky when you're trying to be precise. Instead, a double tap will highlight a single word and a triple tap will highlight the whole paragraph. Number seven assists with autocorrect. We all know that autocorrect can be your best friend at times and the ducking worst at other times. If your phone decides it knows best and is just plain wrong, just tap the word and you'll see an option with a small arrow next to it, which lets you revert back to what you typed. Number eight addresses a serious topic, emojis. If you learn the specific word that corresponds to a particular emoji, you can simply type that word directly into your message and get that emoji as a suggestion. On top of that, if you need help finding the right emoji, there's actually an emoji search bar that's really easy to miss on top of the emoji page. You can use it to seek out just the right one that you're looking for, or to avoid having to scroll all the way through the gigantic list if something's out of your frequently used. Number nine helps the next time you need to say something with excitement or potentially with anger. You can use the shift button, which lets you capitalize letters as a caps lock button with a simple double tap. Number 10 is likely already well known for any bilingual viewers. But if you need to add a special version of a character, just press and hold on the particular key to get to all the different variations. This allows you to add all of the enyes and umlaus that your little heart desires. A bonus tip is that when typing into a web address field, you can do the same thing and press and hold on the period to automatically add in .com or other common web domains. Finally, number 11. This one is for some more advanced users as you'll need to go into your keyboard settings. You can get there easily by pressing and holding on the emoji button and selecting keyboard settings, or go to settings, general keyboards. Once there, select text replacement and you can add common words or phrases with shortcuts. Then the next time you type in the shortcut, the phrase will automatically appear. This has been 11 tips to help improve your typing on iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like the one on Apple reminders being the ultimate grocery list. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.